Hello and welcome to Jesse Sucks at Sims. My name is Jesse, and today we're going to take a look at how to install The Sims 4 on a MacBook Air M1. Um, mainly because I had a few questions on the last video about how to do this, so we'll show you why this has come up and also how you can. So okay, so here's the problem. I'm here on the Origin website at origin.com, and if you go to try and download The Sims, so if you go to the game library and you try and download The Sims 4 from here, you'll get this message here which says only available on Windows and Mac. But as you would know, I'm here on a Mac and I'm on the M1 MacBook Air. So what's going on? Well, for some really odd reason, Origin cannot detect if you're on the Mac when you're using the Chrome browser. So the way to do it is to switch over and use Safari. So here we are on the Origin website using Safari. And this time, if we go to my game library, and we go to The Sims 4. Uh, the promise is something like play on or download for Origin or play on Origin or something like that. But the download button's here to download the Origin client. And as you can see here in my Mac, there is The Sims there all ready to go. And that really is all you have to do to get The Sims 4 to download on the new M1 MacBook Air. If you're having problems with actually running The Sims 4 on the MacBook Air M1, because it's sometimes during Create a Sim we'll go through a white screen and everything will just stop working. It's kind of like, uh, all you have to do is go to my last video, but the second half of the last video I uploaded has a little guide how to change a tiny little task and do the vertical sync and do that and that should sort out all the problems with creating sync crashing. And anyway, I hope this video is helpful. If it was then please consider liking and subscribing. Otherwise, see you next time.